Good morning and uh, welcome to another edition of Outsider Genie, um, our daily racing preview. Today we have racing at um, the Vol. Um, yeah, the card looks difficult. Um, this, some of the fields, the horses are weak, and I say that with, you know, with all, um, you know, to all the owners. I mean, I don't want to offend anybody, but yeah, some of the horses, um, especially in some of the maiden plates, the fields are very weak, and then there's a few handicaps that are very competitive. Um, I just want to know, just want to mention a few things. If you are a business and you want to advertise um, or maybe sponsor this daily preview, please contact me. Um, you know, uh, this thing goes, this uh, preview goes out to a lot of WhatsApp groups, Facebook groups, and and so forth. So you'll get uh, a nice um, exposure of your business. Then um, I just want to mention, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to post videos every day. So in order for you to get notified when the video are posted, if you're interested, just click on subscribe and ring the bell, and then you'll get a notification that. Um, uh, the video has been posted. I also want to mention that uh, we have a, um, a subscription service where we give you uh, specific selections race by race. Um, as my goal is to provide you with outsiders, so what I do is I provide you with uh, one horse that I think will win the race. Sometimes it's a, sh it's a short price, shorter price horse. Sometimes it's long shots. I have to. Uh, 25 to 1 as outright selections, and then I give you two selections, which is uh, my outsider selections that I think might, you know, either win or place, thereby boosting your your dividend. Then I also give give um, trifecta and quartet selections, and some of our trifecta and, qu and quartet selections, some of them have paid well. Uh, the other day, Sunday, um, I gave a quartet box of 360 rand, which paid over 9,000 rand. Our subscription is 500 rand a month. Um, you'll find the details and my number in the description box below. Uh, so also use that number should you want to advertise your business. So let's quickly go uh, and have a look. First of all, I just want to quickly have a, uh, discuss um, our uh, results yesterday. In race three, uh, we took uh, our, our, uh, our outright winner was number one joint effort who came home, uh, paid 520 a win, 150 a place. And in race three, I tipped you um, Gavel Strike, and um, that came third. And I also had Alfredo, which was 25 to 1. I had that in my calculations, as well as uh, Willow Express. But unfortunately, we never had the Ferrari Ice, as that was a first timer. But we had the other three in our quartet. In race, um, race five, I tipped you uh, one of my value bits. I also tip value bits. That is a horse that you can play each way. So that uh, if, if, even if it doesn't win, you can still make your money back. So number four ran third, and they paid three ran 20, still giving you a small profit. And then here, here was the tip of the year, was the, the race of the day. Uh, I gave you as an outsider selection, Mrs. Hardline, 25 to 1, 570 a place. And then I also tipped the trifecta, 436 rand, and that would have cost you 120 rand. And then we gave you the quartet, paid 4,742 rand box, 360 rand. Then also, um, I also uh, just want to mention in race number 11, uh, our outside selection was number four, Santa Victoria, ran second, paid three rand to place. But here again, we tipped you the trifecta, not paying so much, but a quartet, we also tipped 820, we would have landed up with a profit. So now let us move to the racing for the day. And we kick off with a maiden plate, race one, um, over 1,800 meters. And this is a work riders maiden. Now, um, my selection in this race is number one. Um, sorry, before I go to that, let's just quickly look at the betting. The betting number one, Petersham 11 to 10, 5 to 1, Kratos Flower, 15 to 2, Capella Magna, Verti, Verti Val, City D 10 to 1, 16 to 1, and more the others. So races to, uh, horses to look out in this race is uh, number one, Petersham, finished nicely last time out, and has also got the experience Matsuela on board. Um, I didn't fancy it last time, and the horse nearly came up. Uh, fortunately, I did tip Artisan, which won the race, which is also like 
12 or 14 to 1. So, but in this is a very weak field, and this horse must have a chance. Number two, hold your horses one last week, and that is scratched. And the other horses that you can have a look at, Capella Magna. Now, not inspiring form, but might be the better of the rest. Um, this horse is uh, trained for this distance and even longer, but it haven't um, showed a lot last time out before the break cramped, eased, hanging. Maybe it can run an improved race. Also, um, horses that uh, you can, other horses that you can look at is number five, Betri Val. You know, it's a long time, made in 12 runs, always there and thereabouts. I have run a few places, but definitely can come up in this field. Last time out after the rest, 3.95 beyond Lord Melbourne, and not a bad uh, effort. So, this horse might come up, uh, might come and surprise. Um, then other horses that we, uh, and some other horses as well. Um, Sacred Dawn, Awaited Dawn, Awaited Dawn. This talent has surprised me. He has thrown a few good ones here and there. Um, has had three races. First time out, faded over the over 1,800 meters, but uh, might have needed a run. And then also number eight, City Deep Karen Fisher. She managed to win her first race on Tuesday, and she might follow up. But a deep draw. Uh, and this will be like this: fourteen horses, fourteen out of fourteen. But this horse has also shown flashes here and there that he can have a little bit of ability. But already a five-year-old, fourteen races, only four places, so nothing to get excited about. And then uh, the last one I want to talk about is. Um, and I've talked about number seven. And uh, yeah, I think that is that for this race. So let's now move on to the um, race two. And um, oh yeah, this is the horse I forgot that I wanted to mention. I see this horse is second favorite, Kratos Power. Um, but this hasn't got inspiring form, has changed stables in January, has run a fourth seven innings behind. But uh, I don't know. I can't really see how this horse can be second favorite. There are stronger horses in this field, but take you, you can take your chances, but not for me. Let me move on to race number two. Um, here we got a, 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 let's look, have a look at the betting quickly. The betting race two. We got a strong favorite number number one. A run a ran with PS Tradem on board. Um, yeah, this horse in this field. It should it should be able to win this field, although these are uh, two first timers, two year old first timers from the Fortune Stable for Peter. And you you know now you're going to have to watch the betting. Currently, Pierce Tradum 19 to 10, the the Racing Man 8 to 1, Sunburst 12 to 1, 16 to 1, Savior 16 to 1, Maringo Income Dollar 33, and so on and more the longer uh, price the other horses. So let's look at number race number two. Last week this horse ran, but um, got run out of it by Action Pocket and a few other horses. Was leading, we had apprentice on. Today we've got um, Pierce Stradum on. Pierce Stradum doesn't road it a lot for um, Maroon. He's had a few uh, runs, but still yet to win for him. But today might be the day. Other horses that we can look at in this race, um, Racing Man also ran last week, but uh, also in the same race, but it faded. And uh, but it's got getting the apprentice again, minus two and a half, might run a better race today, as it will be his third run after no, it will be his fourth run after the rest. Yeah, this is one of those horses when and then like when it's Thursday morning, he starts heading for the float, <laughs> going racing. Yeah, Sunbird, um, yeah, Sunbird has run a few, a few uh, decent races. Moosey Yeni riding, um, you know, there behind Majority Magic, fourth. It's there and thereabouts, and I'm sure one of these days he will he will get his day. I don't know if it will be, I'm not sure if it will be today. He has got Aaron, Aaron to beat. Um, other uh, things, um, I just want to mention this was that you might look at putting into your play. Number six, Jet Cat. Uh, this ran behind Roger the Dodger. There's a few in this race. That ran behind Roger the, the Dodger on the 10th of March. Showed improvement. So you don't know after the race, maybe keep kept on improving. So a nice one to throw into your um, calculations as the horse is currently um, like 40 to 1. So if that comes in, you'll be standing in a payout queue laughing and thanking outside the genie. 
So, all right, let's just move on and see. There's nothing else in this race that we can talk about. As I said, this is the two first timers Jackson out of a Rich Man's Gold Meet and Flying the Flag out of a Duali. Flying the fa Flag is a first time um, stallion, but hasn't uh, shown much. Um, yes, Nico Ragwa. I don't know this breeding is the first time. I don't know if this horse is imported or what, or is it maybe a stallion that they imported? I'm not sure um, what the in terms of the breeding, but it is overseas breeding, so maybe it can't be too bad. So just watch the betting on number 13, Nicaragua. We now then move on to race number three. Race number three, let's have a look at the betting again. Uh, the betting in race number three. Carefully is a favorite five to two, 92 fantasy flower. Letitia's Angel, first time a six to one, Sovereignty 13 to one, Incognito, Stratum for Dennis Cation. That is a nice, that's a new combination. Arabella Queen, 12 to one, Ferraris uh, and Fortune teaming up. Milan's Princess, um, Milan's Princess, um, 14 to one, May Queen, 16 to one, and 20 to one, the rest. And also, I just want to mention this one, there's also a Afril, 25 to one. So let, let's have a look here on horses that we um, have to look at. Uh, number one, carefully, has run a few race, and, and nice races. Last time I was just running, uh, I'd run by Mileta. Can, can go in again, um, not without a chance. Incognito, uh, Dennis Kaysen, this uh, Dennis, I know for you, for you don't know, he, came, he trains from Balcom. He used to run a lot of his horses in Kimberley. But if, unfortunately, with the closure of Kimberley, he is now stuck to the vault. This horse was bought uh, in December on a dispersal sales from Dean Maroon. And um, yeah, so it has run a nice second year behind Little Rain. No extra late, no strong kick. So maybe Pierre Stratum can nurse the horse, you know, to stay the distance. But we'll have to wait and see for that. Um, I just want to draw your attention here to number number uh three um my queen it's a long it's it's long in, in in the price but um it has shown some ability and then last time out in december not striding out it's by the skizzled stallion he has thrown quite a few nice ones um so it's he's, he's standing at the boswell farm he used to be with uh um terry and then yeah he went to study at boswell farm has thrown a few useful ones or definitely always to include in your calculations. Then I want to draw your attention to number four, Afril. Number four, Afril, as I showed to you, is 25 to one. This horse ran a quarter length to Madame Patrice, Patricia, Ma Patrice. Now, Madame Patrice has won a few races, two races, uh, is always dead and dead and about placed. Now, if th this horse can repeat this, uh, this run here, I'm sure it will be involved in a finish. There's also, you can see it, it behind Dark Song, it ran on second fastest 400. Now it's had two runs after the race, much to fitter. Um, definitely a dangerous horse that can come up and 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 win the race. Number five out of Bella Queen, as I said, this is the Fortune and Ferraris combination. I've been there and there about last time out behind Path, path to the Stars, showed pace over the 1160 and then faded. So also a horse that, 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 can, be, uh, that can actually win this race. But we'll have to wait and see. Then, um, this is as far as it concerned is race number number three. Here's the first timer that's a Potola Palace, Andrew Fortune out of a special Noir Mare. So you'll have to see what's the betting. Um, I see Kumala is riding, he has had a few winners for, for uh, Fortune. I think he won for Fortune the other day again, but wasn't mistaken the last race of the ball. If I'm not mistaken, this um, I just want to quickly show you a Milan's Princess. A Milan's Princess raced at um, at Turfontein, and it's race number three. Let me quickly just look at what happened there. Race number three, Milan's Princess. She ran. Um, Mid division behind Maladimo. That was a first timer from um, from Jeff Woodruff. Was a, it, it, it was back. 
Uh, there was money for a game in Arena, and Milan says she finished 9.45 lengths behind, uh, drifted from 50 to 2 to 16 to 1. So it can be that you know this that this race can bring her on. So definitely uh, something that you can you can look up, look at, including to your calculations. Right. Let's then move on to the fourth race. Sorry about that. Uh, sometimes my this thing doesn't want to scroll too fast. Uh, all right, race number four. Here we have also got a strong favorite, Daphne Dauphine du Maurier. I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm trying my best. Dauphine du, du Maurier, 7 to 10 the field, 11 to 10 double odds, Immaculate 15 to 2, Mabella 11 to 1, waltzing closely. And uh, um, I just want to check something here. Oh, I see this horse is now scratching because I had it in my calculations, but I see it's now scratching since I did my preview. That's why I couldn't. All right, so then we got number 11 to 1, Nabella, and then number uh, 20 to 1, watching closely, and 20 to 1, the field after that. So let's quickly have a look at this race. This was ran nicely last time behind dance class. Um, after the rest, um, you know, was run out of it, but can be fitter now. Larina is riding. So definitely a horse to include, um, number two, double odds. It's already at nine races. Hasn't shown much, hasn't shown much. The best run probably the third behind Queen of Soul uh, came uh, no, running on. Because horse is running uh, on there. You can see it was running fastest 400 to finish, second fastest 400 to finish. But um, you're going to have to see and wait if this horse improved before, you know, before the rest, 117 days since last race. Then um, number three, Diba is now scratching. Uh, high and mighty. Let me just have a look at a few other horses in this race. This is the horse. You what you what you can do, you can probably take exacta one and six, same stable, same owner. Um, uh, this horse is shown fair form. I mean, five rings behind Lady of Steel, no slouch, five rings behind Franklin, and last time out. Um, um, before the break, uh, Korea, Curation. Curation came out to win again, I think, this on Tuesday in the Valley, the horse won or something. This horse has won. So, but in a weak field, definitely in with a chance. Um, let me see if something else I want to talk to about in this race. Yeah, Nabila. Uh, I think the, the best thing about Nabila is the jockey. Um, you know, as shown in different forms, five links, six links, 12 links. Last time out behind Spirit of Law, no finish. Uh, Silvano out of Galelo, uh, me, what a breeding. Um, but the horse hasn't shown much. But I can tell you now, Sinjin Gray will definitely breed with this filly. And I mean, she will be a nice uh, 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 pedigree to breed with. But before we go breeding with her, she must still win a few races. Um, so, yeah, there was a six links behind Iris Dame. Iris Dame, I think, has won, twice, has won two races, but not really inspiring form. Uh, then I just want to mention this um, Venus fly trap. I want to talk about me. I'm going to talk about Mr. Bill Eman. Uh, I'm from Rustenburg. He trains here just around the corner on Derby. And then I also used to, uh, you know, Kimberley trainers, but now he's stuck in uh, have to raise his horses in the Vaal or Tiffontaine. Yeah, and I mean, these horses came to race in Kimberley because they couldn't make it anymore. So now he's back here and trying his best to win with, with what he's got. I really wish him luck. I like him both very much. I've known him for more than 20 years. So if Mr. Yeman maybe listens to this by chance, I really hope that he will pick up a few winners soon. Abigail. So that is then this race. Let's now move on to the next race. Oh, I just wanted to mention one horse. I nearly forgot about this horse. So I just want to go back. Um, I want to mention this horse called, um, oh my goodness. Gee, sometimes you've got a problem moving these things up and down. Um, please include all the, include this horse in all of your calculations. Crusade out of uh, uh, Kahal Me. This horse, they put it over 1450 before the rest. I'm sure this horse is going to improve. She ran a, a, a not too bad race for the first time. They say, yeah, late progress. 
if you look at it, look there, 25 seconds, 400 to third fastest. Um, if this horse improved after the after the race, will definitely be and be involved in the finish. It's 20 to one. It can you know really boost your dividend. So don't leave this horse out of your play. All right, let's look at the next race. That's race number five. Uh, the betting on race number five is African Adventure, uh, 26 to 10. Lord Melbourne, 28 to 10. Oyster King, 13 to 2. Bellagio King, 15 to 2. Masadi, 13. Cape Town, Fair, 13. Poppycock, 15. 15. Palace Green, 25 to 1. The field. So let's look at this race. Um, race five. I really apologize for this, um, but this PDF file doesn't want to always work with us. So let us look at a few runners here in race five. Number one is Defy Gravity. Has shown nice form, but um, has gone off since form only in her last time ran in November. So I'm sure this horse might uh, need this race. But it has come up, you know, at some now and then. But it's now 558 since, since last win. Um, uh, 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 not for me today. Then um, race two, Mazari. Guys, I want to tell you this horse. How many times I've backed Mazari. And then the day I never had a cent, I mean, uh, on, yeah, on, this, the, on January the 2nd, he came up and he won at, at, at you know, at 23, 22, 25 to 1. Oh, I never had money on that horse. But yeah, uh, definitely in with a chance again today in this field. Don't leave it out of your plate. The Cornish the, uh, uh, um stable is uh, pumping and they're getting the, the um, numbers out, the winners. Um, here we are at Lord Melbourne, uh, Duke of Marmara Gelding out of Eredor Mead. Uh, last time out, it won fairly easy, 1.5 uh, after the rest. Um, I'm sure it's going to be it's going to be improved. I'm um, I'm also I'm, I'm unfortunately one of those uh, that believe when a horse has won a maiden, you know, next time out you have to wait, and that has cost me money in, in the past. But I think out of ten, ten out of ten times, six or seven times they fail. It's only about two or three of them that really wins after the maiden. So percentage wise, yeah, you must take your chances. You can decide whether you want to follow that advice or or include him. Oyster King was also a horse I followed, and he Oyster King ran against some good sorts um, in the past. And then, unfortunately, I also played it a few times. And then, when the racing started, I, I didn't follow it immediately, and it won. Um, it came out and it won. But also, maybe in with, with a chance today again. African Adventure, uh, Larina Samoa, uh, Soma, <laughs> Samoa, Soma. Um, this horse has been showing, you know, this horse runs on all the time, 25 to 1, 25 to 5. You know, this horse always comes from behind running on, and then also, he, uh, you know, he appears late on the scene, but maybe Lorena can uh, produce him, but not my first choice in this race. We move on to the next. Um, okay, then I want to, um, Bellagio King, Andrew Fortune. Um, to me, that is one of the dangers of the race. Um, last time, a, a Muzi Yeni riding for Andrew Fortune um, ran behind Oyster King. The, you know, they just faded out of it. But maybe uh, with the 2,000 meters, um, can be uh, um, involved in the finish. Then, um, this is one of the horses I fancy in this race. Really fancy. Cape Town of Cape Town of Fair, Cape Town North. He has traded on board. Unfortunately, he's got a little bit of a wide draw. But this horse has run some free races and also ran behind Oyster King showed. Um, and I do think that today this horse with Pierce Tradem on board will definitely be involved in the in the finish. So um, this is then the let's move on to the next race, the, the next race. 
The next race is um, race number, come on, race number six. Let's look at the beating of race number six. Race number six, here we have the favorite, our man in, a, in Havana, 18 to 10, on my mind, 5 to 2, Christopher Robin, 9 to 2, Johnny Euro, 13 to 2, Spin Mac, 10 to 1, Stormy Winter, 14 to 1, Zenon Zest, 14 to 1, and 33 to 1, the rest. So let us look at this field. It is a merit rate in 93 over 2,000 meters. And uh, let's look at um, number one, rising, um, the rising legend is a scratching from this race. Number two, Christopher Robin, is a horse that I like very much. Um, I have been following this horse. Um, you know, this, this, this talent damage is done, um, used to belong to Wally Brits, and now he's thrown here and there, he's thrown some diesel horses, Christopher Robin being one of his better horses that he's uh, thrown. Um, I just want to just mention uh, on the 14th of March and, and Turpentine when he won the Derby Trail, I had some money on it. I liked it. And uh, yeah, that was an, uh, a, a nice race, uh, which he won really easily. So um, I, I really think this horse will follow up on this. Moose Jenny riding again. He didn't get, get a, you know, he, get a, he got a bit of a penalty. Um, but I think he, he will definitely be involved in a finish again today. Then we have a look at um, Johnny Hero. Johnny Hero was also a horse that I really liked. Um, and I also used to follow him, but then he, he ran a few in different races. And uh, unfortunately, um, I didn't follow him. But, you know, I, I kept on, whenever he was running, I kept on putting him in my pick sixes because he has run against some decent horses in his time. Got a green light. Any horse running five and, five, five and a half lengths behind got the green light. Can't be too much of a donkey. Daddy ran behind Chimes, you know, Ikagi, uh, approach control, you know, there's all good horses, um, flash burn. And then last time out, ran a half a links behind Christopher Robin. Definitely a horse, give me the right, give me the green light. You have to include this horse in your calculations. Then um, race number, four, and then we're also number four, Skin Mac has now won two races in a row. A man in, in uh, he has won two races in a row and then ran fourth. A man in Havana, also in with a chance, as with um, six on my mind. And now let's move to um, this number seven. Um, Stormy Winter comes off a long rest, um, and we have to have to wait and see if this horse is first fit. Uh, fit. But it, it's nicely bred. Let me just try and find it again. There. Okay, Stormy Winter. Soft falling rain by Fort Wood May. Really, Stormy Coast has also thrown quite new horses. It was a horse that cost 180000 Only had to have two runs and one barrier trial. Um, so wait and keep your eye on this. This might be any, this horse might be anything. So then we move on. Um, I just wanted to show you something here. I'm going to move back here again. I just want to mention this one horse now. Keep on going past it. This number 12 short skirt flirt. I did put it in my quartet. Add it in your quartet. Um, Bill Eman has taken horses to the fall. And then sometimes they ran, uh, uh, not they went down when the race, but they ran places at um, good odds. So size three is 52, 50 is getting, like carrying 50, 50, 50, one and a half. This horse has run some decent races in Kimberley. So you never know, might come and surprise and run, run into the back end of the quartet. So do include that into your play if you can afford it. Now let's move on to race number, uh, number seven. Come on, okay. Race number seven, let's look at a beat, at a beating, not a beating, the beating. Although we, you might get a beating today at the vault, so be, be careful. Here we got eight, 28 to 10, Kapama, Elusive Fruits, 3 to 1, Encryption, 9, Fort Turner, the Oro, 9 to 1, Piccadilly Square, 9 to 1, Olive, Olive Vine, 10, 13 to 1, Muscaliva, 13 to 1, Tumbala, 18 and 20 to 1, and longer the rest of the field. So let's quickly look at this race. 
um, crime scene, um, number one. Um, number one, elusive force. I really think that this horse is, is, is in with a chance today. Um, it's running a bit down in class and uh, um, has run against some good quality horses. If I can just get the thing to focus on the loser force. Here you go. It's only had a few runs. Um, and last time out, it did fight a little, a little bit, but I'm expecting a better run from it today. Crime scene, Lu uh, Lyle Hewitson riding. Um, so um, also in might be in with a, a small chance. Then we got encryption, um, Andrew Fortune, Deacon on board. Um, this horse has um, won its first race at 18 to 1, drawn 14, uh, unfortunately. But last time um, ran behind Trapeze, tried out, and has run a few nice races before. Um, I don't know what went wrong behind Fly North, but definitely include that in your ping. In your calculations. Um, then we move on. Olivine um, just won a maiden. But for me, uh, Stradas, Stradas Statella is not showing much. Wait to see if wait for improvement. Kapama has now won two in a row, uh, roses in, two races in a row, and also wants to. Um, uh, I think it's now one Kapama, as now one, oh my goodness, this is really a struggle today with this thing. Not working properly. Okay, let's look at Kapama. Kapama has won three out of the last four races. Um, some other time, the handicapper is going to catch up with him. I don't know if it is today, but uh, yeah, it definitely all that you need to put into your into your calculations. Um, then is another was I want to just quickly discuss with you. Maskeliva, Maskeliva. Is one of those horses. <laughs> oh no, I don't believe this. Um, okay, here we get to Muscaliva now. Cornace be stable again. Muscaliva is one of those horses you never know what kind of race she runs, but if, it's, if she is in the mood to race, she will definitely be involved, in, you know, she can be involved in the finish, but you have to go on a day. But uh, this is definitely a horse that I would include into my play and all of my uh, calculations. Then we move on to race number eight. Okay, I can read my 